time. So I've seen Wilmington teams, you know, for a long time. I mean, uh, I've known that coach's staff for a long time because I recruited his guys when he was at Hargrave. And I, I mean, I don't know what it's worth, you know, but I've done this for, again, 42 years. That's a good team, okay? And they got depth. And, you know, they, 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 they bring him in and out, okay? And I don't, I, you know, I've watched tape on him. I don't know if he presses like that all game, but, and I don't know if you can, he's got his own team there because that stuff wore us out. And, uh, but they got so much depth at the guard in the post position, okay? And uh, he did, he's done it to everybody he's played. He, you know, he's just hasn't done it to Coker College. He's done it to everybody he's played. And I, I consider him a very, very good friend. So I'm happy for him. I hope they win the league. I hope we win another game. You guys are obviously a little bit short-handed. I mean, what was the plan to kind of hold? Uh, I, you know, you know, you don't want to use that as an excuse. Next man up. You know that. You read that book. But that happened a couple days ago. I mean, that was a thunderbolt. You know, we lose Dante and we lose Trey James, and those are our starting four and fives. Mm -hmm. And Dante, you know, we struggled to score. Okay, <clears throat> but when you only have four assists, you're you're going to struggle to score or five assists or whatever you ever have. But honestly. Here's what we got to do. We got to take that game, and we got a big game Saturday at Lincoln Memorial, and we need to get, we need to use that to get us better. Because but that that was a little bit of a thunderbolt for us. But again, I'm all I, I, I'm a Wilmington fan because first of all, Kevin was nice enough to play us, okay. And everybody wants these kind of games. You want a little bit of exposure for the kids. You want a little guarantee you're going to get. And Kevin was nice enough to do that, so I thank him for that. What was Dante's injury? We don't know. I mean, he's stress fracture in his foot. Okay. You know, he might be out six weeks. He, he might be here back tomorrow. I don't know. But he's, you know. And then Trey James, who leads our league in rebounding and, and block shots, has a knee problem. So, but again, that still doesn't make you have those kind of turnovers. They sped us up, and we looked like we were an AAU team. And that's what I just told you. looked like you were an AAU. That's not how, you know, we got some frustrated players that haven't been scoring this year, and, and they're going to take it upon themselves that they were going to, now let the offense try to run something, okay? We got it down to nine. You know, I can say what you want. We got it down to nine. Could have lost by 50. Got it down to nine with about six, seven minutes to go. And miracles happened. You know, the other night we were down 17 with seven minutes to go. Came back and won the game, so. <laughs> Is there anything you could do or try to do to uh, simulate that, what was coming in practice? I mean, do you feel like the guys had a, had a good look at, at what might be coming or not? Yeah, you know, in our league you have a team called Newberry. You know, they beat Marshall a couple weeks ago. Okay, the, the new, that's Newberry. You know, the, the Newberry wears you out the whole time. But God, guys, I mean, you you can see. Can we just catch it and lay it up once in a while? You know, can you just not get in a big panic mode? Because they did. They, they they make you play faster. But man, I tell you what, I like them. So, did you ever uh, coach against Chris Fleming's when he was at Bart? Yeah. You know, they we we changed leagues. We're in the you know the SAC conference now, but. We cussed against him as, I know it was freshman year, I might have been a sophomore year too. But, they, they, you know, I, I'm around leaving season, he's a very good friend of mine, and I'm sure that was tough on him, whatever the reason was. But, God, Chris, I didn't, he, he's developed his perimeter game, man. You know, I mean, he was really an inside guy in our league, and he would spot him up a little bit too. But, yeah, I mean, well, I, I, he got a good player there, one of your better players, I think. I love Wilmington, I'm going to retire here. <laughs> okay, so, you know, it was really good. God, you'd have to write this down. I'm just talking.